welcome to another of us is nice VNR. Um, this is not grape juice. We are actually in New Square. We're in the factories by Nair Mitzvah. Over here actually is the tank of the oil that they use to make the gel candles. In just a couple minutes, we're going to show you a little bit of the process of the gel candles. You'll get to see a little bit of the plant over here. As a matter of fact, you can see a little bit of the conveyor belt over here of ready-made gel candles. And we're going to show you how Nair Mitzvah, all the products that they make, how long they've been in existence, the many lines that they carry, be it for Shabbos Lechtelech, Chanukah Lechtelech, Pesach for Kashring, and we hope that you'll enjoy this VNR exclusive. Here's a behind the scene look, the way we make the Chanukah lights, which is the gelled oil. This machine fills the glass oils. We fill more than 25,000 pieces of glass each day over here. After it's being filled, here's a tank of the oil, which heats up the oil, it makes it liquid and goes through these pipes to go into this machine here. And this machine adjusts how much oil it should let out for each glass to fill up the right amount. Custom made machine. A customized machine, fully customized to make it work for this particular item, for a gel Kaneki candle. Once it's done, it will continue to go, to go on this conveyor after about five to 10 minutes. As it reaches around the other way around, it will be a dried gel candle. Here's a gel. This was liquid just about two, three minutes ago, and it's not completely gel. It looks like olive oil, but it's a completely gel candle. Afterwards, it comes the next process. As it moves along every once in a while, we will take out one or two candles and test them and light them to make sure that it works well, that it doesn't smoke, that it burns with the right size flame. Then it continues to move on. And the next step, the guys will end up packing it and adding the Hanukkah candle, the matches, the card, putting the cover on it to close it, and then to put it into the carton. The tank up there, which is the olive oil, the liquid olive oil. We put in the olive oil, we add approximately 1% of a chemical, which is only 1% of the oil. That does the process to gel it and to make it into a gel Hanukkah candle. Here's the process, the way we fill the olive oil. This is the way we get the olive oil in big drums. It comes from different countries, Portugal, Spain, Italy, every year we buy from a different country, depending when we bought the particular oil, when we get the correct, the good quality oil that we're looking for. After testing, that's when we're gonna buy it. And this is the way we get it. When we do get the oil, even though we tested the oil before we got it, we will test it again pull out an actual sample from the shipment to test it again before we actually bottle it into the small bottles to make sure that it works well with all the type of wicks that we sell. Ten years ago when we first did olive oil and we started bottling olive oil, we got the most of the big drums as we saw before outside with each individual bottle was put underneath the spout and filled by itself one by one. We would maybe do four to five hundred of these bottles in a day. Now we're doing with an automated, fully automated machine. This is the way they go onto the track over here. It reaches underneath the four heads over here. It gets filled in approximately one and a half to two seconds every four bottles. The next step, it gets capped over there as it moves along. Currently, we put out approximately 30,000 bottles a day. It comes out of this machine when it's in full run. 30,000 bottles? 30,000 bottles in a day, so not in an hour. If I lined up 30,000 bottles flat on their side, how long would it stretch? It will reach at least from New Square to New Jersey, to the warehouse, to the main warehouse. This is the machine that tightens each bottle, each tap onto the bottle. The next step, the label will be applied to each bottle automatically. Of course, each bottle has a different type of label for the correct size bottle that it is and for the type of oil that it is. Once it comes out of this and it already has the label, it moves on and manually then we put it into the boxes. The next step, of course, it will ship to the warehouse and get to the stores. And the next step it will reach from the, into the store, from the store to your home. I hope you enjoy using this olive oil. It is definitely the best olive oil that you can get. It will definitely not smoke if you use it with the right wick. It will not smoke and it will give you a beautiful flame and you're gonna enjoy your Hanukkah. All the oil glasses are made 100% by hand. 
In China, here you can see how it works in the factory. It starts out with a regular glass that they make into a round piece with two edges. He will use a fire of some kind of torch that is right next to him. He will use a long tube that goes around his neck that will go into one end of the tube and he will blow in as needed to widen the glass and to shape it. So he uses his hand and he uses his mouth to shape the glass. Here you can see how it's being made. The first process is making it into the shape that will eventually make it into two glasses out of this one piece here. Once he has that completed, he moves it on first to the next guy all the way to the left. That will do another small process before it moves on to this guy, which will end up making it into a final glass. As you can see, and here he's splitting it into two glasses. The next step is to do that. He takes that glass, he puts it into the fire. This fire becomes like a cutting knife. That's how, how strong the fire is. And he splits it into two. Each one he puts down here on the tile. As you can see, when he finishes doing that, it's red. The second he puts it on there, almost immediately, the redness goes away. It takes out the heat. Then he puts it down. The next step, he will take each of these glasses and shape the bottom foot of the glass. He makes sure that it's not too hot so he can touch it with his hand. He puts it into the fire now. Still waiting for it to cool off. Trying the next one. Here we go. Puts it into the fire again. And now he's going to shape the bottom of the glass, which is a mamish a split second to do it. He takes off that whole big thing. And here's a complete oil glass in a round shape. So now that we saw how some of the Nair Mitzvah products are made, we are in the Nair products, uh, the Nair Mitzvah, pro what do you call it, the showroom? Nair Mitzvah headquarters. Nair Mitzvah headquarters in an uh, undisclosed location somewhere in New Jersey. And uh, well, let's see, the first product we saw that was made was uh, this. This was the gel candles, I believe, right? This is not the gel candles. This is a liquid ready oil. Oh, these are liquid ready the oil. The gel ones is a different one. We'll get to it soon. This is a liquid ready oil. The glasses get filled with liquid oil. The wick gets put in there, the wick and the wick holder, and then it gets covered with a rubber cap. Everything is made in China with this product. This product is actually made in eight different factories. We have a glass that's made in one factory, a wick, as we saw in the video, as we saw in the video. a wick holder, which is a metal part, is made in another factory, a wick comes from a cotton factory, the rubber cap comes from a rubber factory, the assembly. The PVC, the packaging, another factory, the printed card is another factory. All of it will be shipped to one single factory, an assembly factory, and then as we saw on the video, it will be filled by hand, everything, and packaged and shipped to the U.S. Now the oil... And all you have to do is open it up and light Open it up and it's ready to light. Yeah. And enjoy your Hanukkah. Right. I was noticing over there, you have colored paraffin for, for Shabbos there. Or for Hanukkah. There. Which is also new, which is fairly new. We have been doing liquid paraffin for quite a few years now, which the mile of using this over any other product is that the candle will never drip because there's no wax in it, it's liquid. The candle, you, so you never have a problem with the air conditioner or anything like that. With smoking. And it doesn't smoke because it's a fiber wick that's being used with this, so you will never have any smoke with this. Recently, we had some requests for color. Of course, different crowds of people will like different kind of product. For Shabbos, not everybody would use it, but it comes in a green. All we do is put some coloring in there. Of course, it's a special kind of um, oil-soluble coloring. This cannot be used. We can't put any coloring whatsoever to try to color this. We have to use a specific product to color oil. Now, I would think paraffin is easier to color than, than wax. It is or a than, lot easier. than uh, regular oil, I would say. It is a lot easier as it's a 100% clear product. You put a drop of coloring. If you know what to put the right coloring, of course, you will get, in a minute, you're going to get it colored. Versus olive oil, when you try to color it, as it's a natural yellow olive oil, I was mentioning before about the blue, but even when you try to make it a red or a green, it is a lot harder. We're going to mix, we have to use a certain percent of different colorings to get a green, a red, a yellow, not a yellow because it's naturally yellow, but any color I would try to get because it already has yellow in it. So you were telling me Nair Mitzvah was founded originally when, like 60 or? It was founded in 1961. Nair Mitzvah is a family owned business and it was family founded back then, it is now almost 50 years. My father took it over about 20 years ago, and it's funny, we're talking about back then, I remember the first season we did was Pesach. We 
started out, the first item was Medikas Chumetzetz. Back then? Back then. That was the first item when my father took it over. So what did we, my father, that was in, back in 1990. He went and he got a hold of wood spoons. He bought it in a wholesale, wholesale hardware company. He got a hold of candles, he bought some bags, then we needed feathers. Where did we get feathers? Luckily, my uncle is a shoichet, was a shoichet for many years in a shecht house. He went there after work, after they finished shechting, he piled up bags of dirty feathers, all bloody and all dirty. He brought it home into our house. We washed each and every feather by hand in the sink. Bleach they, them? Not bleach them, but we washed them off. They got a nice white feather. Then we got all the kids around the table, Thank believe it or not, all the kids after head in school, we came home and we packaged each one, closed it. So we got a couple of hundred of them. The next day my father would go to some stores and the best chef was helping and it was Matzlich. He sold it. The next day we came home from Chayda. Okay, kids. Back again. Back again. We need a couple of hundred more Bidikis Koman sets. That's how we started and this is how we went about for many years. So what was Nair Mitzvah's first product? Nair Mitzvah's first product going back when it was founded okay, was half dollar candles. This, this kind of braided This kind of braided of dollar candles. Of course, it wouldn't have looked like this back then. The color of the beeswax was not totally That's not clear, like this. Right. The color of the wick was not this. It was not packaged like this. It was not marketed the way this is marketed. It was not presented like this. I mean, we saw this now at the factory, and we saw it by the kosher fest. And this is the way it was made back then, with that little tank. And it was made by hand, and is actually still made by hand in the same kind of concept, but of course... On a larger scale. On a larger scale. Right. But this is definitely the first thing. And even as of now, we still make all our beeswax candles, which is shaiva, in our factory in Usquare. What is this candle made from, Yossi? This is made from paraffin. Really? It is a havdala candle, as you also, can see, it has three wicks. It's, it's colored, because it's easier to color. Because it's easier to color, because it's white, versus if it's a yellow. Natural paraffin is white, so it's a lot easier to color it. This is made by hand, of course. It's first made into a molded candle, a big candle. Then it's dipped into many different colors. Each shade that you see over here, is another dip in another color tank. And as far then, as I remember, I think I saw this process once. They take a hot knife and they that slice is correct. and peel. They don't only use one knife, they use several different kind of shaped knives that does the different processes. But of course the people that do this are very talented and they do this probably in about 10 minutes, they do a job like this. And how has your response been since you've been producing these? You see a really good Of course, good a great response. It's a beautiful product. It's a beautiful gift product, though. It's easier to hold how? Uh, you don't even need to hold it. Well, you just put it on the it. table. It doesn't, doesn't do it. It doesn't drip. I don't think it drips. No, it doesn't drip because it goes oh, inside. The candle's inside, and it takes, I would say, it takes a lot longer to burn of down. Of course, you can use it a lot, lot longer than a long half dollar candle, and it's self-standing, and it comes in a variety of colors. And great. styles and sizes, but it's a great seller. So here's a question for you. Yes. Who who in their mitzvah comes up with some of these ideas, or is there a testing place, or, or like how do you come up with some of this stuff? Some of them we come up with. Of course, the first ones going back ten years, we came up with. We in the we meaning the company and the family. We came up with once we have started making some of these products, it became famous that. Uh, Nemitz is the one coming out with these products, so we do get a lot of phone calls from consumers and having you're ideas. Just, you're not just Hanukkah based. Exactly, we're year on based, and we do get a lot of calls from consumers offering that being that the Nemitz comes out with these products, they would love to offer that they thought of an idea that maybe Nemitz wants to come out with it. And oh, so you do take would, ideas from the yes, public? Yes, we do take ideas from the public. Now the hardest part is, and that's me, and that's the hardest part, because of course when you see an idea like this, or like this, there's at least 10 other ones that didn't end up going onto the shelf right. because we have so many ideas from people and we have to choose which one is the right investment for us. That's the hardest part. Is there like a testing? Do you run, do you run some of these products by sure. a group of people before you... Not by a group of people, but we always test it. As I showed you before with the oil that we tested, this is right. how we do with everything. We will always get a sample from China or from wherever it's made, the particular product, of a finished product. We will get it, we will test it here, we will give it to other family members to test it, to use it at home, to make sure we have a good result. Then we will only move ahead then with mass production.